Hello, my friend. So rumors have been flying around the last few days, but now we know for sure. Doozy just quietly added a brand new phone to their web store, and it looks like it's going to be another game changer. So this time, Doozy is making the world's largest battery rugged phone. It is available right now for pre-order, but it is expected to fully release in February 2023. The new Doozy V Max will tie the Unihertz tank for the world's largest battery on any rugged phone, and any regular smartphone as well. Both the Unihertz tank and the Doozy V Max have a gigantic 22,000 mAh battery. But is the 22,000 mAh battery just a scam? Does the V Max actually perform worse than phones with less battery capacity? The answer is yes. Maybe. And we will get to that in a bit. First, let's talk about everything that we do know about the new Doozy V Max. For starters, the new V Max is 5G. It runs on an octa core Dimensity 1080 chipset, which is currently the second best chipset on any rugged phone beating out the Dimensity 900 chipset used on the Umadigi Bison GT2 Pro, the Power Armor 18T, and even Doozy's own V30. But the Dimensity 1080 still performs slightly lower overall than the number one best chipset on any rugged phone, currently held by the Galaxy X Cover 6 Pro, which does run the Octa-Core Snapdragon 778G chipset. But hey, just between you, me, and Bobby McGee, there's actually a rugged phone on the way in 2023 that will absolutely blow all of these chipsets out of the water. And I'll release a video talking about that phone very soon. Now let's get back to the Doozy V Max. The V Max has got 12 gigabytes of RAM on board and 256 gigabytes of internal storage that can be expanded up to two terabytes. And it does have up to 7 gigabytes virtual RAM for anyone out there who doesn't think that virtual RAM is a total marketing scam. It runs Android 12, and in a surprise to absolutely no one, the giant 22,000 mAh battery rugged phone is actually pretty large, measuring in at 27.3 millimeters in thickness. Now, Doozy has not officially given a weight for this phone, but, and I'm just guessing here, it's probably fairly heavy. Now it's got a 6.58 inch FHD plus 120 hertz IPS water drop screen that does feature Gorilla Glass protection. It's got triple rear cameras with a 108 megapixel main plus a 20 megapixel night vision camera and even a 32 megapixel front camera. The V Max does come in three different colors. You've got Sunshine Gold, Moonshine Silver, and Classic Black. And of course, it is IP68 and IP69K for full waterproofing, dust proofing, and protection against high powered jets. And it is also the latest military standard 810H certified, which is always nice to see. Make sure to leave a like if you're enjoying this video and subscribe if you are new so you don't miss more great rugged smartphone videos that you will not see anywhere else. Now let's talk about the scam. So what is all this fuss about the new VMAX scam? Does the 22,000 mAh battery on the VMAX actually perform worse than other large battery phones? Well, it's time to enter the arena for the Great Battery Clash of 2023. Let's compare the Doozy V Max with the Unihertz Tank and then also the Ucatel WP19, which has the second largest battery in the world at 21,000 mAh. So the red flags start going up when we take a look at the run times on all of these large battery devices. First, let's compare the Doozy V Max with the Unihertz tank. Now remember, both of these phones have the same size battery at 22,000 mAh. Now according to Unihertz, 
The tank gives you 2,380 hours or 99 days standby. But Doozy's new V-Max only gives you 1,536 hours or 64 days standby. And it actually gets even worse when we look at the smaller battery phone, the Ucatel WP19. According to Ucatel, the 21,000 milliampere hour battery on the WP19 gives you 2,252 hours or over 93 days in standby. But Doozy's new 22,000 milliampere hour battery VMAX phone, according to Doozy, only gives you 1,536 hours in standby or 64 days. So why is the battery 1,000 milliampere hours larger but lasts 30% less? Now when it comes to calling, the Unihertz tank gives you 150 hours or 6 days. Ucatel says the WP19 gives you 122 hours of continuous calling time on a single charge, which is just over 5 days. Now Doozy does not give an actual call time on their site at the time of this video, but many other news outlets like GMS Arena are reporting that the VMAX gives you 100 hours of call time, which does sound reasonable compared to the rest of the battery times that Doozy has given us on their site. Doozy does say that the new VMAX gives you 6 to 10 days use on a single charge at normal use. Unihertz says the tank gives you 7 days of normal use, and Ucatel says that the WP19 also gives you 7 days of normal use. So let's summarize all this. In standby time, the Unihertz tank gives you 99 days, the Ucatel WP19 gives you 93 days, the Doozy V Max gives you 64 days. In call time, the Unihertz tank gives you 150 hours or 6 days. The WP19 gives you 122 hours or 5 days. And the VMAX gives you 100 hours or 4 days. And in normal use, the tank gives you 7 days. The WP19 gives you 7 days. And the VMAX gives you 6 to 10 days. So it actually looks like not only the Unihertz tank, but also the smaller battery WP19 actually give you more usage time in standby, calling, and even in normal use. Because I do want to point out that Doozy admits you can get as little as 6 days normal use out of the V Max. Whereas the Unihertz tank and the Ucatel WP19 both give you 7 days normal use. So what is the deal here? Why is the VMAX's battery capacity so large but the performance time is fairly unimpressive when weighed against the Unihertz tank with the same size battery and even the smaller capacity WP19? Is this a mistake on Doozy's part? Did they give us the wrong info on their website? I find that unlikely, but it is possible. Or does the new VMAX just consume more battery power or operate in a less efficient manner than the tank and the WP19? The answer could lie in the RAM that each device has on board. The Unihertz tank and the Ucatel WP19 both have 8GB of RAM while the VMAX has 12 gigabytes of RAM on board. And the general consensus is that the more RAM you have on the phone, the more battery power it's going to take to run it. But would it really make the battery last 30% less than the WP19, even though the WP19 has 1000 mAh less battery capacity? Well, the jury is still out on that one. I guess we will have to wait until Doozy releases the V Max and we can get our hands on some battery tests. What do you think is going on? Why does the Doozy V Max appear to have worse battery life than the WP19 even though the V Max's battery capacity is larger? Make sure to weigh in and leave me a comment on what you think is going on here during the Great Battery Clash of 2023. 
And another thing that people are a little concerned about is the amount of updates or the lack of updates that Doozy will offer with the new V Max. And time will tell, we will just have to wait and see. And finally, what is the price on this thing? Now, like I said, it's not available to purchase just yet, but it is listed on Doozy's site and you can pre-order it at a price of $750, but it looks like it's launching at a lower price of $600. And you can get it even cheaper if you use this $100 off code that Doozy gives you on their site, which brings the cost down to $500 total. You can click the link in the description below to check it out for yourself or to pre-order one. Please share this video if you have found it helpful and then click here for even more great rugged smartphones and I will see you in the next video.